What's up people? Today I'm going to be taking you through not the one hour in the gym that matters, but the 23 hours outside of the gym where it really matters about your body composition. So I'm going to be taking you through a Woolworths and maybe Coles, we'll see how we go, a bit of a shopping haul and show you what kind of foods I sort of get on a day to day. Um, I'm also currently in my second week of prep as well. So um, I'm in a diet phase, so my food choice is gonna be a bit different. So if you're looking to lose some weight this summer, um, this might be the best options of food for you. So I hope you get some inspiration from this and um, I'll see you at Woolies. So we're gonna head up to, we just got a coffee. I get um, all black coffee right here. Reason why I like my all black coffee, you know what, the taste, it ain't so good, but it's zero cal and we're just chasing the caffeine hit. So that's why it's important to get your black coffee. Anyway, we're gonna down this bad boy and then we're gonna head into Woolworths. We're gonna start from the meat aisle all the way to the other side with the rat poisons. And then, um, yeah, let's see what it's all about. We'll get you through the high protein options, the carb options and the fat options that are quite healthy. And we'll talk through everything sort of in detail as well. What a quiet. Get your Woolies worth. All right, cool. Also do a little tattoo reveal while we're here. Got this tattoo right here, game, because life's a game. Or maybe I got game, it's one of the two. Oh. <laughs> and then we got this two lines right here. This one I just got because I was bored and I was like, I'm already getting a tattoo, what else can I get right now? All right, cool, so we're gonna start with looking. Yeah, I might need a trolley first. Oh, dude, I don't think I can exit this way. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Bruh. So we'll start with some veggies and like, up here so first option uh what i love to get i love bananas um very easy carb source very healthy as well full of micronutrients so if you're trying to get something for your cut as a snack or just something extra to have for like breakfast i think bananas are an awesome option obviously get one that's not entirely yellow yet but i'd say close to it i do i would say for my shopping wise i like to go every single maybe four days, five days or so. Um, if I can do it in the week, I'll do it in the week. But obviously for me personally, I don't like to prep foods for days on end. I like to cook my food sort of every single three days, four days in advance. So if I'm, if I'm gonna cook, I'll just cook for three, four days in advance because the, it's gonna be a lot more fresher on that third day compared to if you're cooking for food on the seventh day. And if, you, if you've ever prepped foods for seven days, you know how that food tastes on the seventh day and how shit it tastes. Right, another thing I get with veggie wise, I love my micronutrients, so you've got to get your greens. Any kind of broccolini is an absolute favorite. I also love my asparagus as well. Very easy to cook. Say if you're cooking meat um, on the pan, you just chuck these on top and then it's just like ready together. So it's very thoughtless. You can just do this together and that's what I'm gonna to grab today as well. All right, what's up people? Now, if you are trying to lose weight right now and you're looking for carbs that are very satiating but very low in calories watermelon is going to be your absolute best friend now this one doesn't look very ready at all it kind of looks crap <laughs> but watermelon is one of the most filling foods that you can have because it's pretty much entirely water i believe like 80 90 percent water so it's going to be great for any kind of fat loss purposes um you know those really like light carb potatoes? And also another thing that's gonna be really, really good for weight loss is the Spud Lights, 25% less carbs potatoes. So you wanna make sure if you're in a weight loss stage that you're gonna feel as full as possible without taking away and eating a lot more calories. So you wanna feel more full by eating less calories. That's the whole aim if you're trying to lose weight. These bad boys, 25% less, percent, 25 less carbs for your potatoes, so they're gonna do the job quite well. I'd recommend using these in your day-to-day -day sort of um, like mashed potato or anything else like that that you would eat with your main sort of food source. I've already got these at home, so I'm not gonna grab them today. Checking with anything else, um, but I always like to go for sort of my already pre-chopped veggies, which is through here. So I might grab a few of these bags. Usually they have a really big bag. Oh yeah, down here. Carrot, broccoli, cauliflower. You literally just chuck these in hot water in the microwave, five minutes. They're boiled, easy to eat. Very satiating, low calories as well. So we'll talk about um, the difference between eating healthy and the difference between 
trying to build a specific body composition. Now, these are two separate things. A lot of the time, people try to think of them as the same thing. Eating healthy also equals means a good body. Completely different things. Your body composition depends on calorie in, calorie out. Eating healthy depends on micronutrient intake. So if you go to like Woolies or anything like that, I think in Australia, every food has this sort of health star rating. So you can see really close there, this one's four health star rating. So that's letting you know whether how much micronutrients are in it, what's the macro split, is it healthier for you? So if you want the healthier food approach and you wanna make sure your longevity is important and your everyday function is good, then you wanna watch out for the health star rating. If you're just looking to get absolutely bulked up or shredded, then it's not too much of a priority, but I would still make sure you're getting high health star rating foods anyway, because you wanna make sure you're in the best of both worlds. I'm gonna get this bad boy. Boneless chicken, thigh fillets, full health star rating. It's already marinated in barbecue sauce, so literally just chuck it in the oven, 25 minutes, it's done. And then that's food ready for like the next two days. Sweet. Oh, that's too small. I'll get the uh... So I'm an absolute slut for the salmon, skin off portions. 460 grams, so I usually just do two at a time over two days. And um, very high protein content. Although it is high in fats, it's the omega-3 fats, which is actually really, really good for you. So great health benefits associated with that, and it's also high protein, so we love that. As a bodybuilder, when I'm in here and I'm looking at foods, because I'm trying to grow muscle mass, or right now uh, re retain as much as possible, through this cut, I'm gonna be looking for some very high protein options. So you're gonna see me stay in the meat area quite a lot of the time. If you are a vegan or vegetarian, there are other ways to get your protein sources in like tofu. But the other thing to remember is that these have very low leucine content. What that means is they have a very low amino acid sort of mixture with them and it's gonna affect your uh, muscle protein synthesis process. So what I would do instead is, you know, your aminos that you can buy separately, powder form, I would use those to increase your quality of meats or your quality of protein that you're having, which is gonna be the, the plant-based products because they're not gonna be anywhere near as good as say whey protein or your average sort of red meat that you can get. So, so let's talk about the importance of flexible dieting because that's what I run all my clients on and this is how they see the insane results that I'll show you um, later on. But flexible dieting basically teaches you what you're putting into your mouth and what the effect it has on you as well. So once you learn the basics of what is the protein's job, what is your carbs job, what is the fats job of the body, and how does that affect our day-to-day -day function, we're gonna stop just ramming random foods into our mouth hoping that we're go looking for a certain outcome, and we're gonna actually start looking for foods specifically to those outcomes that we want, which is maybe you know more energy, then we're gonna have a bit more carbs in our diet. If we want to build more muscle, we're gonna have more protein. If we want to lubricate our joints and um, feel a lot more satiated, happier, then we're gonna have some fats as well. So, you know, these are quick things off the top of my head where I already know I've had the education of what these macros sort of mean. So if you don't have a clue on what macros are, this is your sign to start learning because everything you put into your mouth is what we become. Your food that you eat is what you are. All right, that looks that good. It's a little bit high in fats. Any sort of beef you get is gonna be very sort of high in fats. But I'm, I'm, a, oh, I'm a slut for a good scotch fillet as well. <laughs> Cook this thing with butter and oil. Man, I can't do that because I'm going to cut. So I got to be careful with my calories. Not today. Sorry, buddy. Poor beef. Man, I love looking at all these meats, but like, like these were all dead animals. They were walking around before. That's the part we don't think about, eh? Cool. For, if my, for my meat eaters out there, for my carnivores, for my... Um, what's all mate's name again? That just got caught on gear? Oh, Liver King. <laughs> For all my Liver King supporters out there, this is going to be your best bet. Turkey breast mince. Now this is one of my favorite, you can even see at the bottom here, it says less than 2% fat. Very, very high protein content and such little fat content. Like it's very rare to find a protein source that's so high in protein and so low in fat. So this is gonna be one of your best friends. Um, I like to mix this with my protein pasta. And um, yeah, you literally get like 80 grams of protein in each meal, something like that, it's crazy. So another option is like your My Muscle Chefs or your prepped meals. This one's called Strength Meals. Um, I personally like it, it's very easy to just chuck in the microwave and eat. Now, when I tell my clients these and they ask me, can I have my prepped meals? I say yes, but to a certain degree because they do have a lot of preservatives in them. 
to make sure they last past a certain expiry date, right? So if you have a lot of these, they are going to upset or they may upset your gut from time to time. So if you don't wanna be sitting on the toilet 24 seven and have a bloated gut, I would recommend sticking to a mix of these sometimes when you're really busy, but try and keep it majority sort of this whole fruit approach, especially if you're dieting, because your gut's gonna be so much more sensitive than say if you're in a bulk or eating a lot more food. For my guys that are very time busy, um, I would say that if you can't find good meal options and you don't have the time to cook, Instead of going for these op options where they're producing some other factory, there's gonna be some meal prep brands that are a lot closer to your home that deliver to you that are a lot more fresher. Like I know in my area on the Gold Coast is a place called Samurai Muscle Meals and these guys cook fresh every single morning and they del deliver with trucks. So if you can find a local brand near you that can do the same thing, they're gonna be much a better option for yourself. So that's something to keep in mind as well. Yeah, English leg ham looks good. I'm just gonna get those. Cool, so these are just easy for wraps and stuff that I'm gonna make. Um, they're about 10 grams of protein to two grams of fat, so it's a pretty good ratio in my eyes. And um, for all my vegans out there, or vegetarians even, tofu's gonna be your next best bet. You can even see five-star health rating. This shit is great for you. Um, you got 22 grams of protein to 10 grams of fat, but it's gonna be a good fat. It's not gonna be any of your bad sort of saturated fats. So yeah, that's another good option for you guys out there. Dude, this wheel just keeps squeaking, man. Why can't they just make like trolleys good? Like professional, come on, man. Um, all right, cool, here's a cup for you. So at Woolworths, I've been an absolute fiend for these two lately. You've got your YoPro Perform, 20 grams of protein per serve. Um, they've actually got branched amino acids in them as well. So they're literally built for bodybuilders, probiotics. These would be five-star health rating if they did have a rating on them, but oh yeah. Oh, no, next style. Yeah, the good peanut butter. All right, so if you're ever gonna get peanut butter, Try and avoid the, the classic brand of this one, although they taste really good. Um, I would opt with this super tasty, crunchy peanut butter. This is a couple different brands, but the brand's Mayer's, five-star health rating, very high in protein as well. You can get very high protein um, peanut butter with this stuff as well. I think this one's just normal, but you can get the very, here we go, protein peanut butter, which is 32% protein in this bad boy. So just little hacks every day to try to get your protein up, especially if your goal is to try to build muscle or retain as much muscle in a weight loss stage. Um, these are some good options for you. And talking about that, we've got high protein milk chalk as well. Go to your health aisle, because then they actually have really good stuff in there. This one I believe is like 15 grams of protein, so like 10 grams of fat, so it's more protein than fat, and it's literally milk chocolate. Strawberry jam as well for the bagels that I'm just about to get. Um, I used to get banana bread heaps, but that shit's so high in fat, I can't anymore. It's Abe's Bagels. Abe's Bagels, they're about 260 grams and they're pretty much all carbs, maybe like eight grams protein, um, two grams fat or something like that off the top of my head. I literally track my food every day, so I just know these things off the top of my head. Also, another thing, if you're in a weight loss stage, I would the biggest recommendation I can make to you is try to stick to the same foods as well. Um, if you keep switching it up and trying different foods all the time, it's gonna be very inconsistent for your body and your digestive system. You're gonna have some sort of um, some sort of reaction to it. So I would say stick to the same sort of food, switch it up every now and then, but keep the base always the same. Like my breakfast is always gonna be bagels. Boom. Now, as I was talking about with my little um, ham wraps, these ones, 65% lower carb wraps, and they also contain 9.2 grams of protein per serve. So that's pretty much majority protein, little bit of fat, about four grams, and carbs are literally like six grams in this bad boy. So you're gonna be saving a lot of calories while still creating the illusion that you're full. High protein bread, but that shit tastes like ass too. I don't like those ones. Seems to be the recurring theme today. Tastes like ass. <laughs> you reckon that'll be YouTube friendly? Ass juice. Ass juice. I would say wheat bix are quite good for you as well. Um, they'd be quite low cal, five-star health rating as you can see there as well. So a lot of micronutrients associated with it. 
Um, yeah, so per serve, two biscuits, about 117 calories. So they're actually quite low. This would be another great option if you're trying to, I guess, um, feel as full as possible in a weight loss stage. Uh, here and there, I make coffee. I do love my monsters though. All right, let's make some space. We don't want to squash this shit. Alrighty. Here we go, another five-star health rating in the box. We got five-star right there. Protein energized up and goes. We got 17 grams of protein per one. Now, I don't always recommend like these ones because they are liquid calories and they don't fill you up as much. But if you are looking for that quick sort of protein hit um, throughout your day, you just want to get over and done with, these are your best friend. So I'll take a whole pack of those. Now, if you're in a cut, you always see bodybuilders using these ones. Corn thins. I believe these are five-star health rating as well. Oh, there you go. 4.5 health star rating. So you get about 12 grams, 13 grams of carbs with two grams of protein and minimal fat per every three biscuits that you use. So it's so low calories. It's literally talking about like 69 calories for three pieces of these corn thins. So you can eat this whole packet and still only have consumed like 300 calories. So these are very, very, very satiating. And they're going right in my basket. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Shit. I'm going straight in my basket. Bro, <laughs> that's so bad. We're gonna get in trouble, man. Dude, I can feel it. <laughs> nah, I gotta take it home with me now. <laughs> I'm not gonna enjoy opening those. Um, cool, let's talk about these Carmen's Proteins bars. So, now, they do have roasted nuts. Satisfies your hunger. Only problem with these ones is they're so high in fats. I guess because of the nut content as well, which isn't a bad thing. But, you know, they promote the 10 grams of protein, but you're also getting 10 grams of fat with that as well. If you learn your macros, you know that carbs and protein have four calories per gram. Fats have nine calories per gram. So if you're in a weight loss stage, these are probably the least snacks I'd be having because they're actually gonna, for one of these bars, they're not gonna be that filling, first of all, and they're probably gonna waste about 300 calories of your total daily calorie consumption. So try to stay away from these, especially if you're in a weight loss stage. Oh my God, this thing is... So if you don't wanna eat before a workout, like you can still just have a quick um, Powerade before your workout. So you do have some sort of carbs in your system. But like I said, when you're depleted and you're, you, you know, you're in your fat loss sort of stage, you gotta really be careful with your training. Like you gotta kind of time your carbs around your training because you're gonna be so depleted, you're not gonna have much glycogen stores within your muscles. So you wanna make sure that you're having some sort of, I'd say like at least 50 grams of carbs before your training sessions. If you don't wanna feel flat and don't wanna feel like you can't lift even half your PB, because that's what happens in a cut. You lift half your PB and you feel horrible in your training sessions, compared to like a bulk anyway. So another great food for a cut is going to be popcorn. Very, very, you can have lots of amounts of it and um, they're not gonna be too high in calories, which is gonna be the best thing. Like this one, 98 calories per serve, which is gonna be quite delicious. It's majority sort of carbohydrate content, a little bit of fats in there as well. Um, the more natural sort of popcorn, you can opt for the better, the, the less flavors, but I mean, I guess you don't wanna be eating something so bland, right, and boring, so these are a great option. Hey, that went right in, man. I hate looking at pickles. I hate pickles. I don't know how people eat that. Um, 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 um. All right, I'm gonna get this as well. This is one of my favorite snacks at the moment, roasted peanuts. Now, just because you're in a deficit doesn't mean you have to restrict yourself from every food you love. That's why flexible dieting is so important to learn is because you can still lose weight and be healthy while eating the foods that you like. And I'm always gonna make an exception for this bad boy. Monsters, because caffeine. Price today when I come and I bought full price last week. I feel like an absolute silly man. But I usually just buy Japanese rice. My heritage is Japanese as well. I used to live there a long time. And um, the Japanese rice pretty much has zero to no fats in it. And it also has a higher protein content as well. So if you can get sort of the Japanese sushi rice, 
um, instead of your typical jasmine or basmati rice, you're gonna be far more better off in terms of your macro count. So yeah, that's something to keep in mind. Oh yeah. Fuck. <laughs> That'd be an epic shot if you got it. A good thing about now um, being in a diet phase is that I'm not having this 1400 cow shake every morning and I'm not stuffing my face with food. Um, part of that, my digestion's become a lot better and I'm farting a lot less. So although I still do my little bit of farts here and there to annoy the boys, it's not as often as it used to be. I swear it used to be like maybe 20, 30 times a day. Now it's maybe like two. So something to be, something to be mindful of when you're in a bulk. <laughs> All right, we got another five-star health rating bad boy right here. Five-star, five-star. What is it? It's protein pasta. 25% less carbs and twice the amount of protein of normal pasta. So we actually have a look at the macros in this. Per serve, it's about 25 grams of protein, 50 grams of carbs, and fat is pretty much non-existent at about two grams. So if you're gonna ever eat any kind of pasta, it would be silly not to use this. Um, I usually mix this with my turkey mince, and then I also have it with sort of like a, a garlic basil sauce. I guess cooking oils is important. Premium MCT liquid coconut oil, low carb, healthy oil. And it is 14 grams of fat, but it seems to have a few sort of changlicerides, C8, C10, C12. So it's quite healthy for you. It's got a lot of macronutrient sort of factors involved in it. If you're gonna use any sort of cooking oil, I don't personally use this, I just found it. I'm just trying to be helpful to my audience and provide value. Now this is very naughty, but if you want good oil, Go for these like garlic and chili infused ones. Oh my God, they just change your meals completely. I'm not gonna say they're good for you because they're probably not the best for you. But um, they're not too bad for you. 99% Australian extra virgin oil. Well, extra virgin, eh? It's gotta be good. All right, enough of that. Let's keep going it's out there. For all my vegans out there, this is probably gonna be your best choice. Hellstar four star rating. Um, beans, so gonna be very high protein source of food. 7.4 grams of protein, pretty much non-existent fat and a fair bit of carbs. So that's gonna be your next best option if you're trying to look for, um, uh, I was gonna say prostitution, that's not right. Uh, no, that's not right at all. <laughs> What's the word? Replacement, what's the, tuition. Not prostitution, substitution. Don't make the mistake, don't make that mistake. That's very, very different meanings of words. Yeah, right. Bro, I, sometimes I'm like, bro, I swear I'm English. In non comprende. Sweet jelly. Another really good thing for weight loss. So low sugar, you pretty much have one gram, two grams of protein to pretty much nil fat, nil carbohydrate per serving. Now, um, these things are gonna be great for fat loss because they're gonna be so satiating, you can have as much of it you want, you can eat as much of it you want. But at the end of the day, they're not gonna do much. Like it's just pretty much water and flavoring, right? But you can taste it, you can eat it, you can eat as much as you want, and um, it's not gonna to contribute to any additional calories. So jelly's actually gonna be a really good option for fat loss. Should I panic there at the end? Another thing that's gonna be really good for you, another five-star health rating, is going to be your quick oats. Um, very satiating, you can chuck it in with the milk or water, whatever your choice, chuck it in the microwave. It, it becomes very volume full. And what I actually do, I personally put that um, high protein chocolate with my oats and there's nothing better. It's the most healthy, um, satiating breakfast I have ever. So I would highly recommend that. Vitamin C is important as you can always go. Multivitamins, if you're not eating your sort of daily dose of veg and micronutrients is what I say, like veg salad, you know, your different colored veg and other sort of goodies, then this is where you'd want to come because, um, especially in a deficit actually, if you're in a weight loss stage, then I would recommend getting any sort of like multivitamin, just as like a nutrition filler for the foods that you're not having enough of by being in a cut or deficit. Um, but other than that, like it, I guess it is a bit of a waste of money, you know, you don't need to get 50,000 of these different things. Main thing is going to come down to sleep, making sure your diet quality is good and also your training as hard as possible. And to bring it back to that topic, as I, as I said in the intro of this video, 
It's not about the one hour that you train, although very important. It's about the 23 hours of what you do outside of your training, right? That's where it really matters how your body composition is. You can't just expect to go one hour of the day to the gym and expect your whole body to change and you get ab abs and shredded and this and that. Your nutrition's a big part that plays in it as well. And it took me so long to get on top of that concept. Like the pain of having to track food had to be higher than the pain of not seeing progress before I made that choice. So learn from my mistakes, start tracking your food now. My coach was telling me the other day, you know, he, he used to go very hardcore with it when he was in a deficit. You know, this is my first ever competition prep, so I'm not sure how it's gonna go and be like, but he said, you know, he would usually just lock himself in the house and then be real hardcore about it. Like, yeah, you know, I'm gonna track every single macro to the absolute degree, which is important. And also, you know, like exercise like a motherfucker, do all this stuff, but then had no social time, no social life or anything like that. He said he's gonna make sure this prep is gonna be a bit more relaxed. And I think that's been my approach so far. In the two weeks that I've been in a deficit, I've been to two festivals already, which isn't a bad thing because I've been sober for the both of them. All I've had is caffeine, like a sugar-free Red Bull and I've done like 20,000 steps over the day. Right now I'm doing about 11,000 steps a day. So I accumulated a lot of steps over those durations. And um, like, it, I'm still able to have a bit of fun and the social life while I'm you know, dieting. I think that's so important. Obviously the last few weeks are gonna be really depleted, but it's really important to make sure you make time for socializing and you know, don't socially isolate yourself because that's gonna be the worst thing for you mentally. Although I've never tried it personally, any of the Fro Pro brands, are really, really good. They got a lot of protein in them and they're quite low calorie. They're really good for weight loss purposes. This one is a frozen protein cheeseburger for health star rating. And I'm assuming it just goes in the oven and you get it out. I actually might get one. I might try it and see how we go. You know what is good? This one is really good. The Fro Pro. I was meant to do that. Fro Pro, the Fit Scoot, packed with protein, salted caramel. This stuff is really good. Um, it's pretty much non-existent fat, like two grams. And then it's got, I need to like scrape this shit because it's just so much fucking ice on it. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> um, about eight grams of protein, two grams of fat, and then seven grams of carbohydrate per. I would say about 67 grams, which, I, which is actually maybe like one third, one fourth of this whole container. So um, it's actually really good in that terms of a little bit of a dessert after some food, if you have some calories left over for the day. Another thing I do is I get like a sauce that's high in carbs, high in protein and high in fats. And at the end of the day, after I've eaten all my meals and say I have a couple grams of this left over, a couple grams of that left over, Obviously, I'm in prep, so I want to be as strict with it as possible. So I have a little bit more of the carb sauce, like the, the corn thins, or I have a bit more of this, you know, yogurt if I need a bit more protein that day, or yeah. So it's really easy to just sort of shuffle it around, and make it work for yourself, your flexible dieting. Oh my God, oh my God. You'll be so quick with these. Oop. We just did a grocery haul uh, at Woolworths, and this video will be up soon. So all my nutrition fans out there, that's for you. It's always a pain in the ass moving trolleys after you buy it. So you gotta use your whole body to shift the thing. Sweet, so we're finished our grocery shop. Um, that's Woolworths just for today. For you people in America, if you're watching this, what is it? Walmart, we do sell good quality food. And that's exactly oh, what guns. we've got. Oh, these cans, oh. oh. No, yeah, I've got a, this is why I wear big tees, so I can cover my muscles. So then people just treat me normally, they're like, oh yeah, he's a normal guy, oh. whatever. <laughs> and then and then I take my shirt off, and then they're like, oh my God, Greek God. Titties. Yeah, titties. I'm keen to get shredded. The amount of people in my comments saying, I'm, I'm fat, this guy doesn't know what he's talking about because he just went through a bulk. Watch me, I'm gonna get absolutely dick skin lean. I don't know if I can put that in there. But we have done our shop. I'm gonna chuck these in the fridge. Um, basic point for the day is um, be prepared or prepare to fail. So get your shit early. Um, do it the way that works for you personally. Like for me, I like to do my shopping every single three to four days. 
And um, when I cook, I like to cook for three, four days in advance. I don't like to cook seven days in advance. Maybe that works for you. Meal prepping on a Sunday works with your schedule. Do it that way, but find whatever works for you and also learn flexible dieting. So with that, I'm gonna leave you guys the same way I always do, which I can't remember how. See ya. <laughs>